Today we are talking refinancing, cash out versus HELOCs, home equity lines of credit. Uh, so interest rates right now are the lowest that I've seen them since January. That's right, since January. Um, and if you've even slightly been considering changing your mortgage around, doing a refinance, now is the time to investigate. So here's what you need to know. What's the difference between doing a cash out refinance and getting a HELOC? What is a HELOC? HELOC is a home equity line of credit, H-E-L-O-C, home equity line of credit. Basically, what you do is you take a line of credit. It works kind of like a credit card, and you can draw on this line of credit and pay it down. Draw on it and pay it down, generally speaking, as many times as you want, uh, as long as the line of credit is available. Typically, you get these at your local bank, wherever you have your checking account or wherever they're offering the best product at the time. So your line of credit most often um, will go up to 80% of your home's value. There are some banks or credit unions that will go up to 90% of the value or 100% of the value. But when they do that, the terms of the product, the terms of the loan, the interest rate are gonna change most likely. Um, things that you need to be aware of most often, these are going to be adjustable rates and the payments are gonna be interest only. Compared to a cash out refinance, you're gonna do the whole mortgage, your whole first mortgage and any extra cash, any extra equity you wanna take out of your loan, you're gonna get in one lump sum right at closing. That's all gonna be one low fixed rate. Right now, lowest I've seen, probably ever. <laughs> um, they were the lowest I'd ever seen in January, right before all that craziness at the Capitol. Um, and now they're even better than that. So um, major differences, fixed rate versus adjustable rate, interest only payments versus fully amortized payments. Um, generally, I would recommend a home equity line of credit or a HELOC for someone who is looking for either a safety net um, or if they're gonna draw on this line and pay it off quickly and do that many times. Draw it off, pay it down, draw it off, pay it down often. Then a home equity line of credit can be a very good tool for you in your financial toolbox. If you're someone who wants to do a big project, get a lot of cash, get a lot of equity out of your home and take a long time to pay it off, then more often than not, taking a cash out refinance is likely going to be a better option for you. The whole chunk of money is gonna be at one low fixed rate and each payment that you make is gonna to go towards paying that back. With the HELOC, typically that payment for the first 10 years is gonna be an interest only payment and then you usually have another 20 years to pay the whole thing back. So those are the main differences. Um, in, in terms of time it takes to complete each transaction, uh, it totally depends on the lender that you're working with uh, and how busy they are. So many times a home equity line of credit can seem to be faster because there's less documentation. Sometimes appraisals aren't required. Right now, I imagine they're just as busy as everyone else, so they're probably taking a long time. When I got my own home equity line of credit several years ago, it took weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, finally, about eight weeks into the process, I called the branch manager at the local credit union and said, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is taking so long. And miraculously, the very next day, oh, Mrs. Reedy, we're ready to close your loan. Um, so luckily, <laughs> that helped. Um, on the flip side, uh, we do refinances all day, every day. Of course, we do purchase loans as well, but a lot of our refis are getting appraisal waivers. Typically, when you're doing a cash out, if you're trying to get the most bang for your buck and you're maximizing that, when you uh, are going all the way up to 80% of the value of the property, many times we are needing appraisals and those are taking longer. So I would plan for around a month, give or take, two weeks on either side um, to take to get the whole process done from application to closing and funding of your loans so around a month. Um, if you're not sure which scenario is right for your situation, I would love to talk through that with you and see 
what's going on in your financial world and how these options could best suit you. You can reach out to me. My email is trish at trustedlendingcenter.com or if you're ready to get started right now, go to trishreedy.com, use that orange apply button and we'll put together some options and scenarios for you and get the ball rolling. I'm always here to help and answer any questions. Promise I won't sell you any products you don't need. Uh, mostly I want to educate you so that you can make the best decision for you. If you have any other questions, if you're looking for a referral to a good trusted professional um, that's a financial advisor, a real estate agent, anything else, please let me know. I'm here to be of service to you. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Trish Reedy, your mortgage lender.